thank you all for tuning in if you have not watched it go back and look at my uh, video for the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable 2 that's a lot to say that device is awesome if you've noticed I, I know some of you may have noticed because I noticed and this is to me this is the mark of a good company so I've looked at some of my older videos that I've done with the Aver Media right and I noticed they're coming out dark they don't look as bright and vibrant as my TV. So I just thought maybe, eh, you know, I'm doing a couple of pass through, so maybe that's the price you pay. Well, I just updated the card and they basically fixed that issue. So now it's pretty close to what I'm seeing on my TV, or if not the same thing. I literally just did it five minutes ago and I'm glad I did because I'm re actually redoing this video. So I wanted to talk about this right here on this menu. The Xbox One X graphics mode. Um, let me pull this thing back up. So basically, those of you, those of you who have an Xbox One X, know that you have graphical mode on. Grr. Here we go. Here we go. Anyway, you get graphical mode, so that is one of the benefits of Xbox One X. So if you've been thinking about getting an Xbox One X, um, here we go. Thinking about getting an Xbox One X, is it worth the money? Here's one of the, the benefits. Number one, you need a 4K TV to take advantage of it, bottom line. Now the Aver Media only outputs to 1080p, it records 1080p. That's fine. I'm going to just show you a little bit of the differences of what you can do. Gears of War Gears of War 4 also has this feature. So the Xbox One X enhanced games can do this. So if you look at this right here, I have enriched visuals. So here's the three modes. So enriched visual mode. This one has increased richness throughout the experience, such as additional foliage, fog, um, foliage density, shadow quality, and higher resolution textures. So if you look at the grass, look over my right shoulder, look at this grass, look at the foliage, look at the character herself. Look at her feathers, look at her tattoos, look at that foliage in the background over my right shoulder again beyond the gate. Now this is 30 frames I'm assuming. I don't have a frame counter thing, I think that's redonkulous. This is 30 frames, okay? So this is enriched. This is for the most detail. I guess I can walk up to this thingy. It's still kind of flat, but you know, whatever. Um, so that's that mode. Now I'm going to switch to frame rate. What you're at, you're literally going to see the foliage disappear and come back, but it's not going to be as much of it. Now with high frame rate mode, the game is actually going to run at 60 frames. So you see the foliage disappear, and now you see it come back. If you notice, if you rewind a couple seconds you'll see that there's not as much but I don't know if y'all can notice I don't know if y'all notice that or not but I'm moving quicker smoother I'm definitely moving at 60 frames and I don't know if this thing looks any different or not actually it does look a little flatter to me but again I'm right here you're looking through a computer screen or a cell phone so you may or may not notice may or may not notice and then turn around girl this is a damn good game, by the way. I've started it. I'm on. I'm, this is the second hour of the game. I'm going to record that next. Now I'm going to switch to high resolution. So what high resolution does, it runs the game with dynamic resolutions that scale throughout the game up to 4K. This is for players who are happy with 30 frames and want to see just what the Xbox One X can do when partnered with a 4K TV. So this is for the best looking experience. Details are a bit crisper, sharper if you look at the character. The foliage looks a little bit more alive, not necessarily the best, but there's still not as much as with the um, enriched visuals mode. But if you look at the character, look at her hair. Switch to the frame rate. Look at her hair, it got fuzzy. 
her hair gets fuzzy. She looks a bit more flat. Almost kind of like a last gen character. I mean, granted, it still looks better than last gen. That's with high frame rate and then enriched visuals. And you can literally see it. You could probably see her clothing move and stuff. I like enriched visuals. I feel like enriched visuals is a, it's a bit more full. Let me see. See if that shadow effect will change. I'm looking at the fog in the background to see if I see any different. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, actually, I think there is a little. Either I might be tripping a little bit, but if you look in the upper left hand corner, you look at that tree that's right there. The sun is shining a little bit differently. I can see more individual beams of light from the sun. I mean, kind of like that, that effect right there. You see those beams of light coming at me? Let me see if that changes. Yeah, it changed a little bit. It lessened. It did lessen a little bit. It wasn't it. It's not as... It's not as pronounced. I mean, granted, there's slight differences. And again, if you don't have a 4K TV... Yeah, it definitely pops a little... It pops, definitely pops a little bit more. But... Those of you thinking about getting the Xbox One X... Um, I would say... To me, it was worth it. One, I'm going to run tournaments, so I kept my Xbox One, and I have two consoles. But if you don't have an Xbox at all, get the One X. If you already have a One S and you're satisfied, eh, I'd probably say you're probably good, you know? You're probably good. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I'm going to now play through the next hour of the game, and that will be in the next video. If you look at the first hour, I was streaming on Mixer. I was not recording directly to my SD card, so the quality isn't as good as it's going to be in this video. So, for the next video. Thank you guys for watching.